thinking about the penitentiary, getting ready. Right after the Mr. G fight, I'm going to have to turn myself in. Alright, we're back at the dungeon. <laughs> we met a very special guest who we really can't reveal. Hint, hint, that you guys will be blown away. He is here, he's in the sauna in the men's room and he's flexing. So those that know could get an idea of who it is. It's a shame he doesn't want to be filmed. He's looking massive. Cab's looking better than ever. But hopefully. I, and we're wondering why he's here. All of a sudden, this is kind of far from where he lives. Why, I think he's here for us, right, Rob? I don't know. It's all very mystical, if you ask me. And I asked him, what are you doing here, Jason, knowing that this gym just opened last week? He says, I've been going here for about three months. Oh, whoops, we spilled the beans. Yeah. So, there you go. typical Jason, been here three months. What, did he build the place? <laughs> It's just a feel set. Perfect form. I don't like these plates. They're mandatory on here, but when I, you're gonna go more than 405, 450, we're going to have to slip on standard Olympic plates. Plus, we're not really hitting the floor with it, so there shouldn't be a problem. But I don't like how it limits you as far as that goes. You hit the nail on the head, Rob, to boost the millennials' egos. Keep in mind a green is a 10-pounder. So anybody that's got greens on there, more than one, to make it look impressive is a joke. Dale, are you watching closely? I'll show you how to do back and we're gonna show you how to build a back. I've been getting a lot of traffic from Dale Chance, a lot of messages. chance wait. looking like an athlete. You see what happens, people? When I come walk into Rob's car, I'm flat as a pancake, because I get up from a nap, okay? Once I get the blood in there, you see the physique transform. See that? That's 325 and growing. The waist is getting sucked in. You wanna fight that? Anybody wanna get hit by my bad form? You want to fight Rob? You want to get hit by him? You want me to break my thumb on your forehead? <laughs> it's bad enough people critique lifters that are almost 300 pounds. Then they're critiquing their fighting. We'll step right up and come in and do both. We accept all challengers. We'll tell you where the address is. Just like Dada 5000, that fighter, lived in the greenhouse. 
He said the address of his freaking house. Come on over. Do I give you the address? Jay will probably give it to you, but... <laughs> Never looked like you've fought in our life or lived it. <laughs> what do you think we've been doing? Like tiddly wings all our life? Yeah. On online, tiddly wings, like some of you? Thinking about the penitentiary, getting ready. Right after the Mr. G fight, I'm gonna have to turn myself in. So that way, for my uh, possession infraction. But I figure I'll clean out my receptors in there, do my year, hopefully I'll use freeways or bodies, then I'll come out better than ever, detoxified. But the problem is, I'll have to learn how to get enough protein and eat enough bologna sandwiches. Which honestly, I never ate bologna until I got locked up in my life. My father used to say, that's the biggest bunch of crap. You don't know what's in that shit. He was a wrong. But it's better than eating spam like pumps. What are you thinking about when you approach the bar? Uh, How about, can I make a suggestion? Think about some fat 400 pounder after you punch him and knock him down, picking him up off the ground and just doing a suplex. Get that legs into a push through the floor with the heels, push through the floor. Maniacs, this is all aggression. It's how we built our backs, that's for sure. There you go. Nice. There you go. Somebody's back's gonna be twice as big by next week. That's all it takes. That is heavy, heavy tension. The new class may have to collar it up. The plates might fly. Rosilla throws a press in there for the wrestling. If you could do it like that, Maniacs, that's good as gold. A lot more impressive than the one, one arm cable push down. That's good, that's good. You blow my nose, I'll do one more. What happened? We made a friend? We met a fan. His name's Udine. <laughs> Udine. He said, sorry, your president got shot. He goes, I don't like that motherfucker anyway. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, 
Is that gonna get banned as F words? Dale's allergic to this movement. Allergic. It's not pretty <laughs> enough. Not pretty enough for Dale. <coughs> which I do because I need it. Sometimes it's shuttling nutrients into the muscles and you get you end up looking flat until you get a pump and then they come out. So and a lot of GH2 that has the same effect. You could end up looking flat until obviously you get a pump. And I put myself out there. A lot of pros will not be filmed or have a picture taken unless they're fully pumped. Yeah, they wear sweatshirts. And I can understand that, but you got to realize that's what a lot, a lot of that is from. They call it a pump cover. Exactly. That's a nice, intense oh. variation. You see that, Maniacs? You want to make it strict, it's like a preacher curl for the back. Nice. Yeah, it's good tension. It's all back, you know what I mean? Yes. Although I can't put my bloody legs on that part. <laughs> yesterday with quiet and ease and trying to clear my lungs out combine them with a weird energy you'd be surprised what works well with weird energy mark told me to tell you to take uh extra nac uh -huh. to the glutathione do you have don't you have glutathione i gave you from amino i'm out of everything but b12 well you, if you want something let me know sure thanks yeah I'm I'm gonna do it. Although one thing I noticed one thing I noticed today is you can't mix uh, oil and water-based solutions in the same shot. I tried to. Wind I, the water. So is the glutathione. 
and I mixed it with the vitamin D, which is oil based. And yeah, speaking uh, of vitamin D, nothing would come out of the syringe. It all clogged up and got cloudy. You must have been going nuts. No. Did you put it in the warm water? No, I just threw it out. No, but I, I I warmed it up beforehand, so it came out like a like a breeze. But that's such a good trick using the candle warmer to warm things up. Yeah. For example, the the Rad 140. That's so thick. Normally you need a 20, 22 gauge. I got it through a 29 effortlessly today because I warmed it up. I don't think I ever tried the injectable rod. I'm taking the GW. Well, two, I'm up it. And I had some SR9. They said it makes you sleep better. So I've been taking that. Your circadian rhythm, yeah. I want to get to the point where like I'm John Anderson, the strong man that's wrestler, to where he's in bed by eight. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's our biggest fault. We should be getting up when the sun comes up. Well, I think I get up at 8. I but, see that. You've been doing yeah. a lot of stuff in the morning. I'm still stuck on, for some reason, I do that glutamine at 4 a.m. And, and during the whole morning, sometimes I can't get up to 11. That stuff does what if knock you, me What out. if you, instead of 4 in the morning, did it all at midnight, you know? The problem is I'm going to bed at midnight. There's food. And stuff. I just got to eat that last meal and... You know, get into bed a little earlier, but I will. I gotta figure it out. I just no big deal. I mean, I wish I was down south. I really do. I mean, the thing is, I should be, <laughs> I should be busy enough to where I have sh- shit to do during the day, which lately I've been. You know, whether I'm editing or, or doing whatever I'm doing, so it's not a big deal. And I kind of like waking up and like uh, you know, getting a few things done online, whatnot, and then falling asleep and waking up at four o'clock and going. I mean, yeah, I like that too. That now uh, works well, either way. But I do miss like my ideal time to go was always like eleven thirty. Me too. When I went yeah. to work, I was like, did did over me. Yeah. And I don't like skipping on sleep, and I can't function without it. Get so. up at either like eight, and then yeah. just kind of chill out for an hour before God, you really get up downtown Atlantic one of those right on Atlantic those balconies we look down where it's not too noisy yeah besides I got earplugs at home I got a blinder yeah to help you sleep that is that a maniac you hear that maniacs make dreams come true apartment on Atlantic Ave downtown Delray for yes three bedroom condo because Tim's gym should be opening up soon right on the beach yeah it can be a part of the uh Delray is a nice mix. You get all. You don't get a. It's not that much crime, although they said there's pickpockets. Where are they going to pickpocket us for? All? <laughs> Rod 140. <laughs> but it's a very nice community. It's diverse. You can get anything you want, pretty much. The only thing is, I expect bad things to happen. When you put a gay mural on the street, you're gonna. You, that's a curse. What? Who did? They got that mural right on, on Atlantic. The, they have it downtown. You've been there too. Have you seen it? The uh, one kid that got the felony because he did a skid mark over it. Um, they have it. Some re- rainbow stuff in the street. They spent a lot of money to have it. Oh, boy. And that's not a good thing. When you justify sin and say it's okay, that's the worst punishments in hell are coming for. Because that's what those pedophilias, the pedos, are trying to do. Did you see that one ad where they have this showing cutouts of people holding hands and it said our agenda is love mutual love with anybody and they show like these large figures and at the end they show a little a little child figure holding adults hands and oh, saying no. this is our agenda love shows no boundaries so they admitted it that eventually where they want to have children involved in renovation ships with adults they think that's beneficial for the child as well as the adult psychotic mm-hmm. Yeah, one second.